you, Guam. House to Home, presented by Remax Diamond Realty. Hi, everybody. House to Home is coming at you right now, and I have a gift for you, something to present, an offer, if I may, of knowledge, and that's why we're here today. Information is the world's most valuable commodity, and I have Liz and Gina, the world's two most awesomest. Yeah, that works. Yeah. Real estate professionals. We'll, we'll take that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Put, the, put that on your business card right now. <laughs> okay. Well, offer is the word right now. And I know everybody says, do you make an offer on this property? And exactly what does that mean? Because if, if people come from, you know, traditional, if you're a lawyer and you think of negotiating or if you're a business person and you think, you know, can we make this deal happen mm -hmm. and everything, there's a lot of back and forth and a lot of, there's a lot of, you know, almost cat and mouse, if you will, and everything like that. But within the scope of making an offer on a house, is that more like a traditional bid, like in an auction sense, or are you actually negotiating? Well, when you're submitting an offer, there's always an asking price, right? So let's say, for example, someone is asking 400000 So you like the house and you want to submit an offer. Now, one of the things uh, as a professional will tell you, you'll ask us, well, what should I do? Some people want to do a lowball offer, and if they're asking four hundred, they'll want to offer three fifty. That's the German approach. The, 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 <laughs> they, ger they the German auction is to start low and go up. So what That's a buyer? That's the common approach. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, but what the buyer should be aware of is it a buyer's market or seller's market, and what is the market value for that home? Is it really worth four hundred thousand? Mm -hmm. So, as a professional, we would say. Well, let me do a market and ask it to give you an idea what a similar type home in that neighborhood has been selling. Now, if you come back and say, I'm insistent, I want to offer 350. Our job is to write up the offer and present it. But at the same time, my responsibility to you as a professional is to say, Jason, I'll write it up, but you just need to know this is not the market uh, value right now. The market value is within a certain window of, of price. And if you're insistent, of course, we have to present it. But we can, we're not doing our job if we don't advise you properly. So if you really In which like, case, I'm just wasting yours and my time. Right, but at the same it's time. It's more about your time. Yeah, your time. And if you submitted the offer, you really liked it, and you submitted it, and somebody else beat you to the punch. Mm. Then what? Gina and I have gone through this. You know, it's a regular process for us. Okay, Gina, I want to ask you. So I, I do just want to correct myself because the German style of auctioning. I just thought about that. Is you start high and you actually go low. It's the reverse of the American mm -hmm. style. But um, when somebody is making an offer, there's a strategy to it, right? Because obviously you don't want to spend more money than you have to. But then you also want to be competitive to whoever else may be bidding on that. And, and it's kind of like a blind bidding process, right? Because you have no idea. There may be you, someone else bidding. There may be 25 different people bidding. You, you know, we, we, cannot, we cannot control who looks at the property and when they make an offer. And an offer is always in real estate. It's always in writing, okay? Because some of our customers think we could just call and say, you know, well, I'm thinking about this price. Could you check? In some, there are some rare occasions where I'll call and say, hey, if we came in at this price, is it a waste of time mm -hmm. or is it going to work? And, you know, I find that we're, when we're in this negotiating mode, I always tell people, make sure you put something in writing because, as Liz said, while you're trying to negotiate, somebody else beat you to the punch. Exactly. So in negotiating, what's the strategy? So well, there's time and there's value. There's time and value, but, this, but, the, but you, you were asking about strategy. Well, here's the strategy. If you've already, if your realtor has already given you market data so you know this property is priced well and you still are trying to negotiate, what you need to understand is at, from what angle are you negotiating? Are you, if you already know there's several people that are looking at the property already and you're trying to negotiate price because, okay, you know the market value is there, but you want a better deal. What's going to happen if somebody else put in an offer that's higher than yours because they looked at the market value and they said, okay, you know what, you're right. This price, this home is priced well. Let me go ahead and just give the seller what they want. But, but on your side, you're trying to get a better deal, so you put in an offer at lower amount. What's going to happen? The seller is going to take the highest offer on the table or the best offer on offer, the table. Yes which isn't necessarily right. the highest amount. Right, the best overall value, overall. because is this a family with local roots that's gonna be here for a very long time, and you know, do they have a, you know, do they have, have they gotten in trouble with the law, things like no, that? No, but right? usually in an most offer. Most sellers don't, you know, most sellers don't ask don't for that. Ask that. They, oh. you, you know, like I, I have an owner who very recently told me, Gina, I wanna get the best, 
the best, best price, price I can, but I'm also looking for a family who's going to love my home. That's one out of 10 people. Most yes. people just want the <laughs> highest, the highest amount they can get. The right. Right. And, and when I say the best, sometimes it isn't about the amount, it's about the terms. terms. Like if, a, if someone is offering cash, that cash amount may be a little bit lower than a, a buyer getting financing, but it's solid. solid. Hmm. You know, and it's a quicker process to get the, the, the deal done. So if someone wanted, uh, it could be 5,000 less, but the terms and conditions, so cash versus a loan that takes 60 days, and then you have a cash offer. So a, buy, a seller will evaluate what the terms are. So if this offer looks better, they may take that. Now, we have had buyers that complain, hey, I gave you full price, but they've got to remember that it's up to the seller. We as agents don't make the decision. The seller makes the decision which offer they accept. And if the cash is more solid, then they have a tendency to accept that. Or maybe the other family, like Gina says, rare occasions that they're after yeah. the type of buyer that's going to love the home. Okay, final yeah. question before we go, and we gotta get to, get to this real quick. But if my wife and my kids tell me that, hey, you found this house, we really, really want this. By the way, my wife and kids totally don't exist. <laughs> um, and, they, and they say, we want this house. You have to get this for us and everything. So tactically, do I have to make my very best offer as the first one? We always say, if I always tell- Or do I tell, play around and play the game? I always tell the buyers, if you really like this, if you lost it, for example, for, for like, let's say 5,000, if you lost this home and you made your best offer and you walked away and you found out you lost it for 5,000, that you could have made that offer, how would you feel? So if this is the home for you and it feels right, you gotta give it your best shot. Okay. And, and Jason, keep in mind, value isn't about the price. Value is what you are willing to pay for that house. It could be higher than what the owner is asking. Mm -hmm. Because that's what it's worth to you. It's not just thinking about with your pocketbook. It's also your mind mm -hmm. and your heart. Exactly. That's absolutely right. Because okay. you're going to call it home at the end of the day. What is that worth to you? Exactly. Well, I have an offer for you guys. You guys want to go get some coffee? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sounds like a good idea. Okay. I'm, okay I'm, <laughs> speaking of paying with my pocketbook, evidently I'm treating. So we are going to head out. But we'll see you next time. Thanks so much. Let's go. <laughs> Closed captioning is brought to you by IT&E. Explore your world. This primetime lineup is brought to you by IT&E. Explore your world.